Um, well, first of all, um, thank you to our fans uh, for showing up. I thought it was a terrific crowd and the students that were around. Uh, you know, I, I know it's a sacrifice for them to be here and we greatly appreciate it. Um, told the guys before the game that, you know, for some of the fans that are here today, uh, this might be the only game they get to see in Bram. And uh, for some of them, it's a Christmas present. For some, it's a sacrifice they were able to, you know, buy the tickets. And so we really, really wanted to um, play well for them. And uh, so it, there wasn't a lack of motivation. You know, a, a, it wasn't a lack, lack of focus. Um, Nebraska just kicked our butt. That they just second half, they just kicked our butt. They, they found um, a chink in the armor and they, they took advantage of it and we didn't have an answer and that's on me as, as the coach. And so we will, we will correct that. Um, but, you know, I told the guys in the locker room after the game that uh, there are four nights a year when it doesn't matter what the other team does, they're not going to beat you. Like, it's just those nights. And there are four nights a year where it doesn't matter what you do, you're not going to beat that other team. And for the second 20 minutes, I mean, they shot 34% from two, 30%, 31%. If you round up, which our guys like to do, um, is uh, from three. They were one for four from the free, free throw line, so we didn't put them at the line. Uh, we had 12 turnovers, which is one of our lows. I mean, 11, we're undefeated with 11 or less. And so, um, you know, I mean, it, was, they, they just, it just wasn't our night, man. I would have never thought we'd go 0 for 12. I didn't even realize we were 0 for 12 through the course because we were taking good shots. I thought they were good shots. I'll go back and look at it and see, but just wasn't going in. And uh, so the credit goes to them for what they did to us. They wanted it more. They were tougher, uh, more connected, better coached than we were tonight. And uh, we, will, we will come back tomorrow and get 1% better. So when Nebraska's getting all the dead drives and the rebounds to begin the second half, what did you see effort-wise from your team? And it, was there something that, you know, timing could have been better? Or was it just Nebraska just being an, that bit, that little bit better to get those offensive boards? No, scheme-wise. So early in the game, um, we were hedging the ball screen and uh, Mass hit two pick-and-pop threes. And then I think Gary got one. And so we decided that we we're going to switch the ball screens to eliminate the threes and make them shoot twos, uh, which they did for the half. They shot a, a lot of twos. They weren't able to take advantage of the switch. I believe at halftime they went in and said, look, we're going to get the switch. And one of the little guards is going to be on you, uh, Dewan Gary, and your job is to get that rebound. They planted him opposite the shot, and he went and got every single one. Um, and so that, that, that's a scheme thing. That's something they saw, and their coaches made an adjustment, and, and we didn't do a good job of adjusting to that. What are your thoughts on Buddy Rich? The bench and was maybe a little bit of a spark on the boards. No, but Buddy, Buddy did a really good job, man. He, uh, you know, given the opportunity, Buddy's been good, and uh, we just maybe need to find more opportunities for him. Um, but, you know, overall, we just weren't very good in the second half today. Long layoff between last game and this one. Do you think there was maybe just kind of a letdown in there at some point? You know, I mean, I don't know. I didn't think the first half there was a letdown, you know. And so I don't want to blame it on that. I just say uh, they were a hungrier team the last 20 minutes, and they executed what they wanted to do better than what we, we were able to execute what we wanted to do. So the credit is to them. I thought we had three of our best practices uh, leading up to this. And so, but, but it's okay, because it's part of the forging process. You know, it's part of the, you know, you, you look at it, you, you pound it, you grind it, you heat it, do all those things. And then you look at it and you say, man, okay, we still got some kinks there. We still got some stuff we have to work out. So you got to go back to heating it and pounding it and grinding it again. And it, it is just going to continue with this team. Fred Hoiberg came in here and said that he thought the difference in the first half was his team didn't play smart. And you just mentioned that you didn't think it was a lack of motivation and you had good practice. So do you think maybe the difficulties in the second half for you came on not playing smart? And if so, where would you grade your team's basketball IQ? Well, 
you know, um, that's he's he's way smarter than I am to be able to figure out what was the problem there, you know, without watching the film. I, I'm going to have to go back and watch the film and see, you know, if it was smart, if it was, you know, just the ball didn't go in the hole, which I don't think that has anything to do with IQ. Um, you know, we had pretty good three-point shooters, TP, Art, who was shooting close to, like, over 40% coming in, 0 for 5. TP was 3 for 10. Cam was 1 for 8. I mean, those are your three best shooters taking the majority of the, the shots. I don't think that's a lack of IQ right there. Ball just didn't go in the hole. You know, ball's in the air. You know, good coach, bad coach, good coach, bad coach. It hits the rim and bounces out, bad coach. It goes in, good coach. You know, that, that's, that's how it is. You talked about you have games like this, but how do you deal with it now afterwards? Do you try to accentuate the positive? Do you try to sort of just put it behind you or what? What's, no, the, what's the process, I guess? Yeah, we're, we're going to learn from it. We're going to watch the film. We're going to learn from it. We're going to come up with a different scheme uh, for a pick and pop five when or when we switch the four man, what we can do to help the guard rebound on the backside. And um, and then we're going to, you know, get back in the gym and shoot. And that, that's, what, that's how you get better. You just, just keep working at it. Well, you know, you hope that everyone takes it to heart, you know, and it, it, it hurts, you know, to lose and that everybody wants to get better. I believe that's the kind of guys we have in the locker room. So we're going to first look at it as a staff and then we're going to figure out the best way to present it to the guys. But, you know, they're, they're going to show up. Quez is out there getting shots up right now. I'd be surprised if they didn't have more guys in the gym you know, getting up shots uh, here here tonight also. So, yeah, we're, we're going to work at it. Our, our, our team, we got good dudes. We got good dudes, and they, they care about each other. Their care factor is growing, and um, multiple guys walked by me and apologized, and, uh, you know, and I feel bad because we didn't give them what they needed to give them a chance to win tonight, and that, that's on us as a staff. What's kind of the biggest thing that, that David needs to do to kind of make be – be a factor again on offensively for you guys. Um, it, it, it's about confidence with David, you know. And uh, I don't. I mean, I, I didn't think he he played bad today, but um, you know. So it, you know he's been one. Of the, he's one of the best rebounders and offensive rebounders in the country, number wise. And so uh, we just we need him to to play to his strength and just keep his confidence up. He works really hard. Like my man was in. Uh, made 300, night before last, 300 free throws, you know, night before last. And then last night he shot again. I mean, like he is working at it. And at some point in time, hard work pays off. It always does. And so I believe he's going to have a breakthrough at some point in time, you know. But until then, I just need him to keep playing with energy, which I, I thought he did today. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate the time. Thank you.